Here is our character Turbo G, which uh, we're going to have a look at now, Mixer Ghosting. Here we have two clips and we want to see the contribution. If we just stop it there, we can see that each clip actually represented by a, a ghosted uh, skeleton in this case. What we want to be able to do is to align our objects and it's much easier with the uh, ability to do ghosting now as you can see the contributions. We of course have our things like our bridge transition tool which will do an intelligent uh, transition between any types of animation. So in this case if we go forward now, so what we have, here we go, during the transition here we can see the uh, the trudge or run cycle and here's our walk cycle and it will blend them together very smoothly there we go to create that effect without the ghosting we just have a look here so there we go this has been available but uh, we now have the, the ghosting ability of this so a walk to run to a jump to a standing still very easy transitions inside XSI. Let's have a look at something else now. It is uh, some extra new tools. Here we have a walk cycle and this sort of machine gun animation. Now what we want to do, if you have a look at the machine gun animation, his left foot is forward but in the walk cycle his right foot ends forward. What we want to do is match these clips and actually take this animation so it continues from here. So what we're going to do is actually, I'm going to cycle the animation like so, but of course, boop, he jumps back to the beginning. What we can do is go inside the clip properties inside here, there we go, and here is the, the parrot, here is the XO. I actually only need to make an adjustment to the very top, in this case, if I can say, I want to add his uh, stride length and have it multiply by every cycle. So I'm adding the stride length, so per cycle now it will be added and he will continue to walk in this way. If I want to find where his left foot goes down, let's just pan back a bit there, it's just about to go down there, something like that. Maybe go back one frame. And what we can do is simply select this, clip, trim after. There we go, now it just trims the rest of that off. What we have to do then is do things like a standard or a cardinal transition in this case. There we go, just put these together. But of course, he's jumping back over here. All we have to do select the two clips and just say <laughs> match clips. We played around with the left foot so in this case we are going to use the left foot as our target so now as it goes through there we go and the animation. So we put a cycle ID animation there we are we can keep playing around with the uh, overlap something like this we can zoom in we just have another look there walk cycle continues always on goes into its uh, uh, machine gun cycle simply by selecting them, hitting match clips. Very, very quick, very easy motion alignment. Something else we have is this. Here we have a complicated uh, cartwheel. Very difficult to stop gimbal locking in this case. What we want to do is actually be able to move him spatially. So if I were to go into here and say primitive model, say get the character man. This is a new uh, mesh primitive which actually gives us a whole load of controls but in this case we actually just want him to, uh, in this case, be a full guy. So we have our animation here. What we want to do is say take at this point where his kick is in the air. I want to be able to take him and uh, offset him in space. So if I just select my global SRT here, what I'm going to do is just go around, just rotate him around something like this and then move him back. So I say okay, well at this frame, that's almost there, something like that. That's great, actually I'll just do it right in his face and say, right, that's what we want. From this case, I can now uh, go onto here and actually just do a pose offset. So now it will add the offset inside the clip property, inside the uh, the expo, it will now do it. It's going to actually look inside here, if we actually look at the hierarchy, if we go into the clip properties, here we have the, uh, the upper body, there we go, all the clips inside there, and it's just offset them in space, so now it's moved it, so at that frame it will go in and be in that position exactly. This is just a very quick way of spatially offsetting a character in space. So we've seen mix of ghosting, we've seen matching clips, showing the cycle ID, pose offsets, the original bridge transition.